Multiply your talents and let your light shine bright. This is all you will need to increase your wealth. Congratulations. You have stumbled on something that will change your life from this moment on. First, let me tell you my story. This is real. I am real and I am going to tell you how to help yourself to becoming self-sufficient and self-reliant by using your talents and skills and I will show you how to let your light shine bright and increase your wealth. This is a true story. A few years ago, I found myself living in a hotel room with two beds and five young children. Homeless and poor, I was faced with the challenge of keeping a normal life. I transported my children to and from school, childcare, and myself to work on time, covering three separate cities each day. Successful for years, as a family we entered into a new business venture and obtained a second mortgage on our home for capital. In short, we had three mortgages and a new business. Tragically, we quickly went from a two-income family to only me carrying the load after 21 years and a business that was no longer running and no longer paying for itself. I was five months pregnant with our fifth child and forced to work up until the day he was born. As a state employee, I did not pay disability income and therefore I could not collect income while I was on leave. I even drove myself to the hospital with my children while in labor. Going from stability to poverty in a matter of weeks left me with no knowledge of finding help. With several mortgages and other business debt to repay, we quickly fell into deeper trouble. With my current income in the low 30s and a family of soon to be six, I was just above the poverty level and not eligible for any help. I literally had to wait until after the birth of my child to seek assistance. With knowledge of only welfare and food stamps, we were able to sustain our family for three months while I was on maternity leave. I sought service from a local lawyer who I found useless with the advice of going bankrupt. I knew there had to be a better way. We owned two homes and a small business that I could no longer afford to keep. So my first instinct was to sell the properties to repay my debt and to start over within my current means. After careful calculations and help from a local real estate agent, we undervalued the sales price on both properties, just enough to cover most of the debt. I learned that they all take reduced buyouts with my promise to repay. My debt was less than half by removing the interest and penalties that had accrued. I also found that as long as I was willing to repay the face value of my debt, the individuals on the collection side quickly became sympathetic and supportive. This even included the main mortgage company with the largest amount at stake. Keeping an open line of communication, the lenders patiently waited over eight months to receive their money. Both homes and business sold with two different cash buyers on the same day. This was not only a miracle, this was the result of careful calculations and studying the market and offering the best value and not giving up. Faced with many weeks of living in a hotel room with my five children, I felt life closing in with no lighted path or rainbow line cloud. I was homeless and I had no idea how to start over and earning an income with just the amount over the poverty level and a debt remaining to repay. Fortunately, I was able to stay in the basement of a very close family member for a few weeks. During this time, I familiarized myself with all the local agencies and what they had to offer. I made use of the local thrift stores and researched self-help material from the local library. Returning to work, I quickly discovered agency after agency that I fell through the cracks. According to them, I was not poor and not eligible for assistance. How could this be? We're a family of six and an income in the low 30s. Weeks and weeks of searching led me to the grim reality that I could never maintain a dwelling with my income and debt to repay. I discovered a program offered by a local agency called Transitional Housing. I applied and I agreed to what they offered and my responsibilities. 
I read all the material and I made a heart-filled promise and to faithfully follow the instructions and to learn budgeting and to search for a new residence. This was the beginning. My budget had room for a small savings, but it would never be enough to move forward. I decided to research new avenues with my savings. I trained, became a notary signing agent, signing home loans. I made my savings back and more in my first month. With this extra income, I was able to repay my debt quicker and I began to restore my credit. With the use of a national law firm, I was able to fix my credit reporting and my credit score was repaired within six months. A few months later, I learned of another program offered by a local agency and this was the opportunity to purchase my own home with an affordable payment. I applied and was pre-approved to become on the list of candidates. After two years of waiting, I am now living in that home and supporting my family within my means. Since then, I have increased my knowledge by becoming a mortgage specialist. I also became a representative with that same law firm that helped me and I created an elaborate computer budget program that I have given to family and friends and clients. I also counsel all others who are in need and lead them to the ways to becoming socially and economically self-sufficient. I am giving back to society all that I have learned. With my methods and ability, I now help individuals create a new quest for success and realizing their light. With business knowledge and the ability to survive after being homeless and poor, I am better equipped to help others succeed and be valuable members of society.